Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel! Hi you guys, if you're new here, I'm Zati Jejung and welcome to my channel. So in two months, we'll be ending the 2019 and we'll be going to 2020. And I can see that many universities in Malaysia are having their graduation days, not just uh, the universities, also uh, the high school, the schools are ending this year. I could see many of my friends are graduating this year and also going to graduate and I congratulate you guys who just graduated. So I graduated this year in March in a university in Japan and I thought that I would like to share with you guys the difference between the graduation ceremony in Malaysia and also in Japan. So I graduated this year in March with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. I studied in Japan, um, my university called it Shibara Institute of Technology or in Japanese we call it Shibara Kogyo Daigaku I can see there's a lot of difference between the graduation ceremony in Malaysia and also in Japan I also graduated in Malaysia for my diploma 3 years before I studied my, I continued my study 2 years in Japan so here I will share with you guys a little bit um, what's the difference and I'll show the video of my graduation ceremony. So the Japan graduation ceremony will always be held in March. It is because that they start their new semester in April. So between March and April, there are like the, you know, the, what do you call it? Spring season. Yes, the spring season. So they are full of sakuras. So you can take uh, very beautiful pictures with the sakura. Sadly, mine was like the kind of like the middle of the March, so no sakura. Just a little bit, but yeah, that's it. So first of all, what we call the graduation day in Japan, it is called Sotsugyo Shiki, which is called the graduation day, of course. So what's the big difference? First of all, in Japan, we don't wear the robes or the hat whatever you wear during the graduation day um, basically um, the PhD or the professor the dean will wear the robes but we don't the students don't except for the PhD students so all the students can wear anything that they want because they don't even say anything that what specific clothes you should wear during your graduation ceremony however everyone wants to be pretty looking good during your graduation ceremony it's your graduation day duh what I wear or most of the girls wear during the graduation ceremony is a traditional the Japanese traditional clothes which is the kimono on the top and usually with the kimono they wear the OB the belt but during the graduation ceremony we wear the skirt which is called hakama and you can see that what I'm wearing in the video that I will show you guys after this so the hakama which is quite pricey actually because of the kimono is made from the what do you call it silk I think the true silk and it's very expensive and I rent it in my university and most university will give you uh, will open up the booth for you to rent the hakama for the graduation day so they will open the booth a few months before the graduation day so i rent mine for 16,000 japanese yen which is around 2000 ringgit malaysia yep there goes my money so actually i rent it for a set like a set and i got some free stuff and also they can in the set they give me um a picture which um of course they took my picture and they sent it to me and also they do the hair but i wear my scarf i wear my hijab so i don't do the hair you can just um fake the only the rent the clothes only but it would cost uh, which in my case 
I would like that specific one but when I calculate it, it again it will be much more expensive rather than taking all of it in one set so I just paid a 60,000 Japanese yen for the one set although I didn't get to do my hair but they do give me half lips though the number two things that is very different in Malaysia that the ceremony is actually quite short they make it short and simple well so I think my ceremony started at around we entered the hall at 12 to 30 I think and it started around 1 or 1 to 3 and ended at the 2 to 3 so we do a main ceremony in a very different place which is most likely not in your university which is at a very different place and we stayed there and then after that like after the ceremony has finished we go back to our universities and we have another mini ceremonies so the first one the first big ceremony so first of all all the speech from the you know the deans and all the professor and all and then when you give when they give us the scroll they don't call us one by one by names so first of all they will give the they will call the names of the people who receive some like special awards um mostly the phd student or the master's students and then they will call you by department so during the department like i'm in the mechanical engineering so only the representative which always be uh, the best student will go on stage and take the scroll and then all of us the students of the mechanical engineering will stand up and just bow we don't go on stage and that's it so it's also so it starts with the electrical and then the mechanical and so on so far so that is how they save at the time actually and then lastly they will sing our school song the university song and then finish so the ceremony ended at around i think it's 2 today if i remembered and then at 40 i will go back i went back to my university so then there we actually go to our classes i mean we have some big classroom or in my case in for my department we went to the auditorium that we have in our university that's so lucky and then there we will they will call us by name so in the room there's only our department yeah so you will go there and that is the time when you go up stage and you receive the scroll or in the classroom just a mini stage that's it so the third thing that is very different in Malaysia that is during the graduation ceremony not all not many family members came during the ceremony so I asked my Japanese friend and she said she told me that her parents are working so they didn't come so in this I I found it that there's that it's like my my lab like none of the parents came like none of them except for my like really so the graduation I don't know about them but some of them do and they do have spaces for, for parents to sit however after the ceremony finished like all the big and small ceremony so i saw my friends wearing this pretty dress so i think that they do have like some dinner with the parents at the very special place like at the hostel or something like that but that is their way so i did go with my parents eating at the yakiniku very nice place so if you want to know how the ceremony goes please keep on watching good morning guys today is my graduation day and i am going to wear my hakama right now this is my graduation place i can enter at 12 30 but right now i'm going to change into my graduation clothes at 9 30. i'm gonna film this moment of truth so guys i'm done wearing my hakama nice right totally worth my rokumayan <laughs> so let's take a photo right now i'm going to akihabara to meet my parents and i'm gonna have lunch there before my graduation ceremony starts at one city can't wait 
so on today's vlog I want to show you how actually the Japanese style ceremony so what I'm wearing today is Hakama this is um they wear this during graduation day for women so this is the kimono and the skirt over here is the Hakama so the flower here is actually the one they put on their hair but because I'm wearing hijab so I'm putting it on my skirt あ、取りましょう。あ、誰かいますか空いてますあ、そう。あれ、今ちゃんが入ってて。おめでとう。<笑> <笑>付属中学高等学校長理事大坪高明柏中学高等学校長野村晴道講演会会長小倉久野<笑> Certificate, Chibara Institute of Technology, Graduate School of Engineering and Science. This is to certify that Yui Miyagawa has successfully completed and fulfilled all requirements of some major program business development. March 19, 2019, Akito Takasaki, Dean and Masato Murakami, President. So the ceremony has ended after one hour. Now I'm in the ceremony of the one hour and we're taking photos. Yay! Thank you. Now we're going to move back to Shibara and take my school. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay.
Graduated. Let this mark, let this mark, let this mark, let's get. So that's it for today, and I'm gonna change back to my normal clothes because my back is hurt because this is so tight. Bye. Thank you for watching at this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Bye b